hath it tears. And he said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then have we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while he gather up the tears, he root up also the weave with them. But he says, Let both the tears, let both grow together until harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tears and bind them in bundles to burn them and gather the wheat into the barns. Father, we pray that you bless your words to our hearts this morning. We pray, Almighty God, that you will speak to us. Pray, God, that you will speak for me and pray, Lord, that you will speak through me. Father, I pray for your anointing this morning. I pray, Almighty God, that your words will bring healing and deliverance. Father, when things are out of place, it is only thy words that can set things in order. So I pray this morning, Father, like the Spirit of the Lord went out with a plumb bob and he was putting it against the building. May you, God, measure our lives this morning. May you test where we are out of line and may your words bring alignment into our spirits. In Jesus' name. Amen. Watch what you let enter your field. Amen. Watch what you let enter your field. Now I am a farmer. Eh. Yeah. So I plant things. I really enjoy planting stuff. And if you plant things, you have to put some kind of protection around the things that you plant. Because if you don't, then animals and all kind of stuff will come and break down your crops. Now, at the back of our house, I plant a garden. And in my garden, my garden is very fancy, may I tell you. So I plant some really fancy stuff. I have carrots. I have broccolis. I have pop choy. I have different varieties of yams. I have peppers, that's hot pepper, sweet pepper, corn, and the list goes on. And it is my garden, all right? And I have scallion and onion as well. And I take pleasure in going down there and looking at my stuff as they grow. But it pains my heart whenever I see one of my plants broken down. And there's a dog who have some puppies. And this dog would come and this dog have acres of land. But this dog choose nowhere else but in my garden to scratch and to lay down. I was complaining one day and Karen said to me, Dean, if you're going to get rid of the dog, you have to put a fence around the farm. Watch what you let enter your field. The Bible says that the good man went out and he prepared his ground. And after preparing his ground, he sowed good seeds. Amen? He sowed only good seeds. But on a certain day, after the seeds germinate. Now, I'm going to take my time this morning. Because if something is planted and the seed is good, then it's going to grow. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want you to pay attention to the word this morning. If something is planted and it's a seed 
that is good, then the seed is going to grow. And the intention for planting is that the seed would bring forth fruit. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says that the good man went forth and he planted good seeds. But when they started to grow and the fruit started to come on them, the scripture says that the servant looked at them and says, something is wrong here. Why am I seeing tears among the wheat? Brothers and sisters, tears is something that is similar to wheat in characteristics. It looks the same way whilst it has germinated you cannot tell the difference when the blade sprang up you will not be able to tell the difference but the time when you're able to tell the difference is when it start bringing forth fruit i am saying to us as god's people watch what you let enter your heart hello hello church brothers and sisters the bible says that the good man sowed good seeds but the scripture says while men slept while men has fallen asleep then an enemy came and sowed bad seeds among the good seeds. I want you to get the picture that I'm trying to paint this morning. That there is something wrong with the world today. And I find out that it is coming into the church of God. Oh, you know hear me, yeah? Brethren, friends, we have to be careful what we let enter our heart. Hello, church. Anybody who is sowing bad seeds in your life is an enemy. Oh, you don't hear me? Hello, church. I am going to paint some picture this morning. The enemy wants to spoil you. Hello? The enemy wants to spoil the church of God. And the enemy will not come with certain things. So the enemy has become subtle in his dealings. In the way how he deals. The way how he operates. The enemy has become technological in all his affairs and his dealings. I want you to understand, brothers and sisters, that if you examine the systems of the world, and I'm going to pick one illustration, one point that I want to illustrate this morning. Have you ever sat down in today's day to watch a movie? Anybody? Have you ever sat down to watch a movie and see what is happening today in the movies? You cannot watch a movie and they do not have a homosexual scene in the movie. Either a girl kissing on a girl or a boy kissing on a boy. It is the enemy that is going forth and sowing seeds in the society and in the hearts and in the minds of humanity. What they are doing, they are subtly putting it out there to let you believe that this is a normal behavior and this is normal modus operandi. But the Bible tells me that it is inordinate affection. The Bible tells me it is vile affection. The scripture.
scripture tells me that it is not good for a man to be alone. So God made him a woman. Hello church. Am I talking to you yet? Down came the raining showers. It is raining outside. Cats, dogs and kittens and puppies. I want you to understand that whatever you are allowed to be sowed in your lives, it is going to grow. Hello church. You cannot plant corn and expect to reap peas. The Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. When I plant gungo, me expect say, me go reap gungo. Hello church. Are you hearing me? Brothers and sisters, we need to be vigilant. We need to become vigilant about what we allow to enter our spirit man. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We need to become vigilant about what we allow to enter into our hearts and our mind. We need to be vigilant about what we allow to come and spoil our lives. Mothers, fathers, you have to be vigilant today. You have to be watchful. You have to put up barricades. You have to put up fence. Because the enemy is out to get our children. The enemy is out to destroy the generation. Hello. And there are some behaviors that are not normal. But the enemy wants people to believe that they are normal. He wants people to believe that it is okay. Now, I went somewhere to make a presentation. And when I went to make this presentation, this was a big, respectable person in society. Individual who you and I would look up to, who we considered, who we consider according to the principles of society, a person of class. And we were speaking to young men and young women. And this lady said, it is okay for boys and girls to masturbate. As long as they're not getting pregnant. <coughs> Something is wrong with the society today. But it's the enemy who is at work. And these kind of tendencies are creeping into the church of God. Watch what you let enter your field. When I talk about your field this morning, I am talking about your mind. I am talking about your heart. Watch what you allow people to sow in your mind. Watch what you allow society to sow in your minds. Watch what you allow yourself to put in your head. Because of a certain, it is going to grow. And it is going to bring forth fruit. Hear me. The Bible says that when the good man slept, the enemy came. Anytime Christians have fallen asleep, the enemy 
is going to come and sow the wrong thing in our lives. Are you hearing me? Therefore, it is time to be awake. It is time to wake up. I want you to understand when you see your children behaving in a certain way and you know you did not train them in that particular way, brothers and sisters, the enemy has entered the field. Oh, you don't hear me yet. Me say the enemy has sown something that you did not sow. But you need to begin as mothers and fathers and grandparents to build back the protective edge around your children. Hello, church. Am I talking to some of you yet? Some of you have fallen asleep on me because you have allowed the enemy to enter your own field. When the enemy enter your field, you have no appetite for the word of God. Hello? Oh, Jesus. When the enemy has entered your field, him come to destroy the crops. Him come to spoil it up. Him come to mess up the harvest. When God so good things in your life, it is supposed to germinate and bring forth fruit. Am I talking to you yet? Church of the living God. All of these wonderful words that we have been getting from the Lord is such that we will become better Christians. It is such that we will become better individuals. It is such that we will live better lives. But the enemy has come when men has fallen asleep. And he has sown tears among the wheat. Church of God, people of the Most High, we need to understand, brothers and sisters, that as the children of God, we must ensure that we protect our field. And a true matter, and a true matter of church, listen, stay awake, stay awake. Hello, even when I am sleeping physically, I am awake. Oh, you're not hearing me, man. Let's look in St. Matthew chapter 26 for a minute. Matthew 26. And the scripture reads. St. Matthew 26 and verse 41. Watch and pray that he enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray. Hello, church. If a person is watching, then you are awake. Oh, you don't hear me? If you are watching, you are awake. I have a farm. And there is this ark that comes on my farm. And this ark and its mangoes companions. So I'm talking about my farm is under attack from the air and from the ground. I want you to hear this. The enemy will launch an aerial assault in your life. Hello, church. We were there, myself and Nathan, one day. And while we were there, brothers and sisters, out of the blue, Nathan said, Daddy, 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 look, the hawk 
grab the chicken and i mean this big old drunk looking hawk came down grab up my chicken and the chicken was bawling out creep 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 and the hawk went away with the chicken hello oh. if you destroy the chicken then you are going to destroy the future of the farm are you hearing what i am saying if we allow the enemy to destroy the chickens in our life he is destroying our future and guess what what they don't get in the aerial assault now i have never seen something that i saw the other day myself and karen went on the farm and a mongoose was coming out of the chicken coop my god in heaven i thought mongoose would just run on the outskirt but now them get brazen them start going inside the coop don't you see what the enemy is doing the enemy is no longer staying on the outskirts of the church the bible says when the sons of god present themselves before god the enemy also present himself before the lord he is now coming to church to spoil and to destroy the people of god but you need to build an hedge of protection around yourself you need to build an hedge of protection around your minds watch what you let enter your field hello i know everybody who come into your field have good intentions hello are you hearing what i'm saying and when i speak about everybody you know, some people come for teeth hello some people come by your farm for teeth sometimes them come they, that's why you have to be so careful you know people you have to be so careful because they befriend you they befriend you and they start walking with you and they they, they draw themselves close to you and they look like they are your allies and when you're not on your farm guess what happened they go and they begin to steal away the things watch who you associate yourself with if you associate with the devil he will steal things from your lives hello do not associate yourselves with satan drunkards <laughs> hello yes, many drunkards oh ravens for those who are on the zoom ravens <laughs> who come to mess up your life mess up your heart church hear me you have to careful even who you associate with in church and not true me at all sometimes some people come and then drop some sinting upon you mess up your spirit <laughs> hello hello brothers and sisters hear me if you do not mean god then you don't mean me any good if you are sowing bad stuff in my life you are not my friend you cannot be my friend and the things that you are sowing are going to destroy me as a person you're not my friend you're not my friend you're, you're not my friend you are my enemy stay awake so the bible says watch and pray why specifically the scripture mentioned prayer because prayer can protect you always listen there are some of our children who do not abide in our house anymore And I do not have control over the way they live their lives. 
But brothers and sisters, I pray. Hello, I pray. And say, Heavenly Father, God of all ages, protector of the universe, protector of humanity, God put an edge round about them. Keep them, Lord, from the wiles of the devil. Pull them back from the edge of destruction. God Almighty, spare them from the, 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 the wrath that the devil has unleashed upon their lives. Oh, oh, listen, it was never my intention for any of our children to leave our home until they would have reached the time where they would have gone through the proper process. But they decide that they are big and they must go. But listen, what can I do? Can I go with them? No, I can't. But I will send Jesus with them. And I will send Jesus. And I said, Lord God, keep them in perfect peace. Protect them, Lord, from arms and danger. Lord God, let your hands of mercies Keep them, dear God. Protect our children, dear God. Brothers and sisters, we need to watch what we let enter our heart. I am talking to you today. God is speaking to his people today. Watch it. Watch what you let enter into you as a person. I know everything good. I know everything good for you. I know true me at all. I know everything good for you. I know everything healthy for you. You understand what I am saying. When you have friends. Hear me. Can I talk to you young people? When you have friends. And they start talking a certain way. You need to begin to disassociate yourself from them. Hello. Because listen. When they speak, the words are going to go through your ears. It's going to go in your mind. Your mind is a fertile place. When it gets in your mind, it is going to germinate and bring forth fruit. So sooner or later, you notice, you start behaving like them. You're not only talking like them, but you're behaving like them. You, you notice your whole demeanor change. Everything about you change. You know what happened? Something has entered your field. Are you hearing what I am saying to you today, church of God? You need to God put up a fence. Put up a barricade. Put up some kind of protection. Protect yourself against the wiles of the enemy. In St. John, sorry, in St. Mark chapter 14, the scripture says in verse 38, Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready. But the flesh is weak. Watch and pray. Brothers and sisters, I believe the Spirit of God is calling to the children of God to protect yourself from the enemies of this world. Protect your mind. When I talk about your field, I am talking about your spirit. I am talking about your mind. I am talking about protecting your mind. Protect your mind. Stop. Don't allow the enemy to sow anything that is bad in your minds. Don't allow the enemy to sow anything that is bad in your spirit. Because it will grow. It is going to grow. It is going to bring forth fruit. And guess what? 
it's only when it grow you are going to see what danger you have created in your own lives hear me it look good it feel good but you know good hello do you hear what i'm saying it might even taste good but you know good it is poison to the spirit it is poison to the soul it is poison to the heart listen protect your minds protect your body protect your heart hello church hello people of god in proverbs chapter 4 turn there with me proverbs chapter 4 i'm going to show you something and verse 20 I'm going to read a few verses there. Verse 20 to 27. Listen. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my saying. This is the Lord speaking to us as a church. What does it mean to incline? Listen to what I am saying. Listen, the Bible says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Incline thine ears. Listen. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. What is it that the Bible is talking about? The Word of God. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Brothers and sisters, anything that goes against the word of God is the enemy. It might feel good, but are the enemy. Me say it might feel good to you at the, at the moment, but I am telling you, children of God, it is the enemy. It might sound good to your hearing. It might sound fancy to your hearing. But I am telling you, as a servant of God, it is the enemy. It is the enemy sowing a seed. Do you hear what I'm saying? The scripture says, let, let them not depart. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep the word of God in your eyes. Read the word of God. Let the word of God become a part of you. Let the word of God live and abide in you, brothers and sisters. It is the word of God that is going to keep you in this time. The word of God is the fence. The word of God is the hedge. The word of God is a protective barrier. So people, we need to get the word of God in us. The psalmist says, Thy word have I hid in my heart. That I may not sin against thee. Let the word of God become alive in you. Hello church. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let the word of God. Listen. I am kept by the word of God you are kept by God's word and I'm going to say something I'm going to say something to us this morning anytime a Christian find him or herself not reading the word of God your fence tear down hello me say anytime as a Christian, you find yourself not reading the word of God. Your fence has torn down. Oh Jesus. Then if the fence tear down. Then wild goat no can get in. Then wild cow no can come in. Any stray animal no can come in. There is nothing to keep them out. Listen, if the fence in your spirit has torn down, then anything the enemy send at you can come right into your spirit. 
So the word protect you. The word of God is a fence. The word of God is a wall of defense. The word of God is a hedge. The word of God is a protective barrier. Hello church. If you're not on a word, you're not on a protection. Hello. Jesus demonstrate this. When the enemy comes and Satan says, if you, if you just bow down and worship me, I will give you everything that you see. Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. Word. Word. Man. When him say, turn all of these stones into bread, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Word. Church, people need word. Oh, no, hear me. Me said, church, people need word. People used to take pleasure in memorizing the word of God. People used to take pleasure. Do you know why you need to memorize the word of God? The things that come against you, your own word can't run them. The things that come against you, me say, fear word can't run them. You notice Jamaicans, if certain, if they feel, they, they say spirit. That's how Jamaicans said, are dopey. Them feel spirit round them. Some of them all start dash water, cuss bad word, and go on with all kind of something. Not true. But hear me. Hear me. Hear me, man. Listen. The armful spirits that I'm talking about, when they come in, they come in unannounced. They come in subtle. They're sleeping. They're just creeping. And they look for a little passageway. They look for a little opening. And they come through the fence. And they come in to destroy that which is planted. They come in to mash down all the good things that God has placed in your life. Brothers and sisters, I am telling you, anything that comes against the word of God in you is of the devil. Hello. Hello, church. Church, I tell you the truth. We have to be vigilant. We have to be careful. We have to watch brothers and sisters be very careful as the children of God. Because the enemy is out to get us. The enemy is out to destroy the people of God. The enemy is out to destroy the seed of the man in the world. Uno no si wagwan. Eh? Uno no si wagwan. Look in the church. Look at the ratio of women to men. Look in the world. Look at the ratio of women. The men are being killed every day. The men are going to prison every day. The men are destroying themselves. The enemy subtly is destroying the seed of the man. Because if you destroy the seed, then you destroy the generation. Then you destroy humanity. Hear me, man. Men want to become women. Something is wrong with that. Men, hello, is sick. It's inordinate. It's unnatural. Hello. Girls must be girls. Girls, you should not be boys. If you were to be boys, then the Lord will make, would have made you with one of those assets. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are girl, stay a girl. You are boy, stay a boy. That's how God made you. That's how you were created. We are defined by we are defined by our genet our, our gen genitals or so. Yes. So listen, I am male man. Hello, because me have man parts. Hello, are you hearing what I'm saying? Any man start being fancy and start walk fancy with the man part. Something is inordinate. It is wrong. It's a trick from the enemy. 
And when girl a girl and start behave like boy, it's inordinate. It's a trick from the enemy. And I saw you did bad. It's a deception from the pit of hell. And Satan has come and sowed a seed into generation while people have fallen asleep. God never make you so. You know, hear what I say? God no make you so. Hello, if you want to know who you are, if you don't know who you are yet, and you want to know who you are, when you go home, look down. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And if you have a dangler, you're a man. Hey, get it right, man. Get it right. Somebody need to tell them. If you have a dangler, you're a man. If you have that V-shape, you're a woman. And that's what God made you, woman. And you need to be a woman. So listen, guard your heart. Get the word. Get the protection. I'm telling the church, get the protection. Get, listen, there are certain things that will never happen in this church while I am pastor. Hello? I, I'm telling you. Because if you're going to participate and lead in the church of the living God, I am telling you today, you have got to be filled with the power and the anointing of Jesus Christ. Hear what I am saying. And if you start walking the fence, then the spirit of the Lord judge you and you should repent. Oh Lord Jesus, this is being broadcast. So I'm probably not getting a foreign preach, but that's okay. Hello, but anywhere I go, you have got to know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And you need to protect yourself. Listen what verse 22 says. And it's talking about the word. It says, for they are life unto those that find them. And they are health to all their flesh. So the word of God brings light, life, hello, and health. When, when, when a Christian of the word of God in them, you're a healthy individual. When you don't have the word of God in you, you're sick. Hello, there are many Christians who are anemic. There are many Christians who are suffering from some kind of deficiency. And the deficiencies that only one thing can cure. It is the word of Almighty God. Hello. What some people need on an iron. I word. <laughs> Lord Jesus, when you see certain behavior change and we say counseling, what they need is more of the word of God. Get the word in them, man. Get the word in them. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. When them start walking to darkness, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is sweeter than honey to my taste. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee, brothers and sisters. Let the word of God become a part of your lives. That's what the church need. We need a church today who is filled with the word of God. We need a church today who refuse to do anything else but the word of God. We need the church today to come on man, denounce popularity, denounce the message that everybody is going to hooray and hurrah over and begin to speak the word of God in season and out of season. Always! Church of the living God. Keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Do you hear what I'm saying? One version says, guard your heart. Protect your heart. Watch over it because out of it are the issues of life. Listen. Put away from thee a forward mouth and a perverse lips put them far from thee let thine eyes look right on listen are steadfast let thine eyelid look straight before thee it says ponder the path of thy feet 
and let all thy ways be established. Listen, turn not to the right hand, nor to the left hand. Remove thy foot from evil. Let the word of God abide in you. Church, church, put a fence around your life. The word of God is the fence. And the word of God keep out the unwanted. Huh? I said the word of God keep out the unwanted. Did you know that there are many unwanted in the atmosphere? There are many unwanted. Hey, come on, man. What wrong with reading Bible to your children? What wrong in telling you, teaching your children the word of God? The Bible says, train up a child. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from these things. Train him up, teach him, guide him. Yesterday, I went on the farm and I have lots of birds on my farm. Because I am what you can call a bird enthusiast. So I have lots of birds. And I saw one of my chickens. And the chicken had one big old something on the side of my head. And when we look on the wing, he have another big growth on the wing. And Karen said, Dean, look at that. And I said, this chicken must die. I cannot allow this chicken to live. Because peradventure, what this chicken have is something that is catching. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I have birds on my farm. That is five hundred thousand dollars for the pier. No, me can't make one little chicken with him disease self contaminate the bird. So me take a piece of stick and cluck, and the chicken was no more. I want you to understand that there are some things going around that you have to get rid of them you have to deny yourself you have to deny yourself certain pleasures if you're going to maintain your sanity as a child of god hello church hello people of the living god hello church of god cut off chop off back off in the name of Jesus, people of the living God, you must watch what you let enter into your field. Because if it comes in, it is going to grow. And if it grow, if it grow. You know, I saw, I saw these children the other day. Myself and Derek and Stephen were showing to these young boys a little plant that they call Dopigon. Now this plant, it has some pods on it. And when you take the pods and you allow water to wet them, they burst, pop, and the seeds fly. Now we thought, that they thought it was funny. So they just got water and they were just busting the pig on all over the place not knowing that that is what the plant wanted that is how the plant designed so the plant is designed 
that anytime water touch the pods they are going to burst open and the seeds are going to fly and the seeds are going to grow the seeds are going to bring forth i want you to understand me brothers and sisters children of the most high god that there are some things in the atmosphere that if they come into your heart your heart is filled with the power to germinate and grow stuff they're going to grow hello hear me if bad seed get in your heart it will grow if good seed get in your heart it will grow and i remember as a boy we used to have worms i don't know if the children nowadays have worms but i remember growing up we had worms trust me i tell you the truth and and our parents would give us wash out man anybody remember anybody can testify that listen we used to get wash out at certain times and certain season and man would have passed some big old coils of worms do you all oh lord jesus even now that i'm talking my skin is cringing do you understand oh i'm I, i'm happy i'm happy some of you haven't experienced them them worm thing there nowadays they have better worm medicine who chop the worms into little beanie pieces so guess what when they come out you don't see them oh, oh lord jesus but i remember those days man some long old six inch eight inch ten inch twelve inch worms just popping out of your system and your parents could look on your face and tell that you have worms and them say if you grind your teeth in your sleep you have worms and so you need a wash out hello all of you new people who are grinding your teeth in your sleep will not have worms hear what i am saying man but in the spirit realm in the spirit realm brothers and sisters there are some of us who have worms but the word of god is a washout the word of god purges the spirit man the word of god cleanses the spirit man the word of god wash the inside thoroughly so even if there are things that have been sown in your spirit as long as you take in the word of god then guess what happened brothers and sisters it's gonna wash them out you hear what i'm saying wash them out in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah church guard your heart watch what you let enter your field protect yourself put up the barricades hello hello church barricade fence out black out do you hear what i'm saying i remember i remember that you might not have chain link or barbed wire but some people use all zinc people even use bamboo sticks and they make a fence but hear me with the word of god is one stop shop the word of god protects you in every avenue the word of god protects you in every spares of life do you hear what i'm saying get the word of god get the word of god hear me church so if you examine yourself today and you find out that your fence was torn down and the enemy breached the fence then hear me get the word of god and restore the fence build back the edges fix back the broken areas the potter wants to put you back together again 
The thing that I love about God is that God is merciful. And His mercies are new every morning. And it doesn't matter how far gone you are. The potter wants to put you back together again. So you who are broken, stop by the potter's house. You who need mending, stop by the potter's house. She la 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 basanda rava kundu. God the potter wants to put you back together again. You see, sometimes we are broken in men's eyes beyond repair. We are broken and we have lost our shape. But hear what happened, church. It doesn't matter how broken you are. The potter wants. And the potter doesn't just want. The potter is able to put you back together again. He can take the broken pieces. He can take things that means nothing to humanity. And he can put you back together again. Ask me. Have you ever been broken? Have your friends ever been breached? Yes. Broken. And the post them, the devil root out the post them. Chop them to pieces. Use them cook food. Dash where the edges. And come in. Mash up the field. Tear up everything. But listen to me when you subject yourself again to the Prince of Peace, to the loving God. He put the pieces back together again. He mend the broken places. He restore that which is broken. The potter wants to put you back together again, church. Fix me, Lord. Mend me, God. Mend me, Lord. God, I don't know. The Bible says in every house there are vessels and there are vessels of honor. And I want to tell you today, you are a vessel of honor. You might have been chipped, but you are a vessel of honor. And God can mend you, fix you. Come on, man. You ever have some chip vessel? And them not look like them, them good for nothing because them cheap. I would throw them out. We have a nice, nice china wear. And it's cheap. I would throw it out. Because it's no longer pleasing to the eyes. I am telling you today that all when you cheap, God still wants to restore you. And He pour in the oil, He pour in the wine. And he puts you back together again. Mend you. Fix you. And you who a moment ago was good for nothing. Is now made right. And you are fixed and mend. And hear me. When he put you back together again. Watch what you let enter your field. But you must go through and fertilize your plants. With the best fertilizer. Put the word of God around the root of everything good in your life and allow it to grow in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. The potter wants to put you back. I want everybody to stand with me today in this house. You are broken. Stop by Barcelona. With your eyes closed, what do you buy? Together again Together again Boom Shape that you're 
to put you back together again. Everybody know this. The part of ones to put you back together again. Broken. your words if we were where we're supposed to be. Lord, we ask that you forgive us our sins, oh Lord. Forgive us for allowing the enemy to come in and to take residence in our lives. This morning, today, oh God, we denounce him and all the works of the flesh. And we invite your presence in our lives once again, Lord. Take full residence, full occupancy of our lives, God. We, we do not give any place to the devil. But we ask you, Holy Spirit, to take control of our entire lives. Lord, some of us are struggling in our minds. We are at different stages in our lives and we have different issues, oh God, that are burdening us down. But Lord, it's not too big for you. So we present them to you today, oh God. We present our situations to you today, oh God. Knowing that you are willing and you are able to take care of them, to fix them, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for peace of mind, for the troubled mind. We thank you, Jehovah Shalom today. Lord, we thank you for direction for those who don't know where to go. They're seeking direction, Lord God Almighty. And maybe we have turned to other things that we shouldn't have. Lord, take us back today and set us on the right path with you. We pray that moving forward, our eyes will be open, our minds will be in tune with you, our spirits, Lord God. We be connected to you, Holy Spirit, so that we can know the path that we should take and we will not go down the path that the enemy wants us to take. We recommit ourselves to you today, O oh Lord God Almighty. Take us, Lord, mold us, fashion us, make us into the vessels of honor that you have created us to be. Lord, we pray for our children in this time. Oh God, you, oh God, will take 
is going to have reflection this evening, but you can look out for the messages, all right? And then Tuesday evening will be Bible study online, and um, please join in, right? And um, we know that the holidays are almost at an end, right? And back to school time, right? It's back to school with a different flavor, mask and all of these things, but uh, we trust the Lord to protect us and to protect our children as they go back to school. All right, have a wonderful week, everybody. And remember, be watchful. Amen?